now equals to 0 from here. That is, here let's group the power of 3 together. Then this gives us 3 raised to power 3 minus 2 raised to power 3. Then plus a minus 2 equals to 0 from here. Then let's group this together and also this together. Applying the difference of two key, now we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3. This is equals to a minus b multiplied by a square plus ab plus b square. And when we apply that here, what we have in this bracket become k minus 2 multiply by a square minus k times 2 that's 2k that's plus 2k then plus 2 square close bracket then we have plus this other bracket which is k minus 2 equals to 0 from here then we can write this again as k minus 2 multiply by k square plus 2k then plus 2 square here that's 4 then plus k minus 2 equals to 0 from here then here we have k minus 2 common let's factor that out we have k minus 2 out then what is left here we have k square plus 2k plus 4 then what is left here we have 1 that's plus 1 equals to 0 if you are enjoying this class click the like button and also subscribe for more videos thank you now here this same thing as k minus 2 multiply by k square plus 2k plus 5 equals to 0 from here then we have two possible cases here we have k minus 2 equals to 0 here or we have k square plus 2k plus 5 equals to 0 then on this side taking minus 2 here become plus so we have k now equals to 2 from here then here we can solve this quadratic equation from here using the quadratic formula a here is 1 coefficient of k square then b is 2 coefficient of k then c is 5 now here we now have k will then be equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times 1 times 5 then over 2 times 1 and when we solve this from here this gives us k equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square that's 4 then minus 4 times 1 times 5 that's 20 now equal over 2 from here then here the same thing as k minus k equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 16 here yeah, then over 2 and also here we can write this with minus 16 and separate it and we have k equals to minus 2 plus or minus plus 16 times minus 1 then over 2 which implies that here we have k equals to minus 2 plus or minus root 16 times root minus 1 over 2 and here we have k equals to minus 2 plus or minus root 16 here is 4 then root minus 1 here we have i imaginary number then over 2 and here we can separate this as k equals to minus 2 over 2 plus or minus or i over 2 
and which reduce to k equals to minus 1 plus or minus 2i. So here we have two complex solutions. Now, altogether we have three solutions. The first one we have k1 equals to 2 on the first solution here. Then the second one we can say k2 here equals to minus 1 plus 2i. So we have k2 equals to minus 1 plus 2i. Then k3 equals to minus 1 minus 2i. So we have these three solutions, one real solution and two complex solutions. We can quickly check for x if k equals to 2 if this will satisfy the given problem. Now when we substitute k equals to 2 in what we have here, yeah, this becomes 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2 is equals to 10. Then we have 2 times 2 times 2 here, yeah, that gives us 8. Then plus 2 is equals to 10. And here, yeah, 8 plus 2 here yeah, gives us 10, which is equals to 10. Then left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And we can also check for the other two solutions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to so subscribe for more exciting videos. And see you in the next class. Bye for now.